lutetium dotatate is approved for use in the United States based on the data from the Netter 1 study, which was a study that looked at low and intermediate grade neuroendocrine tumors of mid-gut origin. Now, um, based on a lot of really robust data from our colleagues in Europe for using radioligand therapy in other GI nets, we actually, um, the FDA approval for the PRRT actually came for all well-differentiated neuroendocrine tumors of GI origin, actually irrespective of tumor grade. So also including those well-differentiated high-grade tumors. So one of the biggest questions, you know, is that we don't have great prospective data yet um, for using um, PRRT for well differentiated high grade neuroendocrine tumors. Although there are a lot of there's a lot of work ongoing and people looking at their own experience in treating this disease, and that was exactly the work that we published. And so we published our experience at Memo Memorial Sloan Kettering um, since. PRRT was FDA approved in how patients with well differentiated and high grade neuroendocrine tumors responded to PRRT. And basically what we saw was that the disease can respond really, really nicely. And so it's a definitely a therapy that you should consider for well differentiated high grade tumors, probably early, soon after the disease has grown on a somatostatin analog. I think that that's sort of where the data sits right now from what we have out there. There are some very exciting clinical trials ongoing, looking at these more aggressive neuroendocrine tumors and trying to bring PRRT earlier in the treatment algorithm. And so we sort of await the data from some of the studies that have finished accruing, as well as some of the studies that are accruing currently.